Hi. Welcome to our channel. Please enjoy this video, where we show you a list of things you can visit in the most famous park in the world, a green square in the middle of concrete jungle. Central Park. The most famous park in the world, a favorite spot of locals and tourists alike, and one of the most exciting places in New York. But being enchanted by this piece of paradise is as easy as getting lost in it. Located in Midtown Manhattan, the park stretches from 59th Street to 110th Street, between 8th Avenue on the west and 5th Avenue on the east. To find your way around, you can purchase a map at the park itself or download the Central Park app, which includes maps, GPS to show your location, information about attractions and more. To help you find your way, we've created a list of the top attractions in this green New York wonderland. Strawberry Fields This is perhaps one of the most iconic spots in Central Park, especially for Beatles fans. The black and white mosaic on the ground with the word Imagine in the center is a tribute to John Lennon. It's located near Central Park West Avenue, between 71st and 74th Streets, towards the Dakota Building, where the singer lived and in front of which he was shot on December 8, 1980. To celebrate his memory, the plant was opened in 1981 and named after the Beatles song, Strawberry Fields Forever. Bow Bridge the Bow Bridge was built in the mid-19th century in the Victorian style and is located on 74th Street, closest to the west side. If you look ahead, you'll have a nice view of the San Remo building, which stands near the park and is one of the area's architectural landmarks. This bridge has been the setting for several movies and is also chosen for photo shoots by brides and grooms and tourists, resulting in wonderful shots. The Lake it's practically impossible for you to go to Central Park and not know one of its main attractions. It was a former swamp that's been reclaimed and given new life, making it great for skating in the winter and boating in the summer. In addition to the lush landscapes, you can also see birds, turtles and other wildlife on the lake. Is the occasion a special one? Then enjoy and celebrate at the restaurant located on its shore, Low Boat House. It'll be unforgettable. Bethesda Fountain One of the greatest symbols of Central Park is this beautiful fountain, one of the largest in New York. In its center stands a neoclassical sculpture called Angel of the Waters. It was created in 1868 to commemorate the opening of the aqueduct that would supply the city with fresh water. In the summer, you'll find aquatic plants like lotus and water lilies. In winter it's emptied and in the coldest periods it's completely filled with snow. And if you visit this attraction, you'll also be near two others, the lake and Bethesda Terrace. All this is located in the central area, at the level of 72nd Street. Bethesda Terrace Bethesda Terrace is considered the centerpiece of Central Park. It's located at the end of a large avenue with huge and eye-catching trees. From up there you've a panoramic view of the Bethesda Fountain and the lake. The walls of this terrace are decorated with sculptures representing the four seasons on one side and the hours of the day on the other. Reservoir The Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir is a water reservoir surrounded by a pedestrian walkway. Originally this 1862 work was intended to provide clean water to the city, but today it only provides water to other parts of the park. This place is a favorite among many people for running and walking. Also, from there you've a wonderful panoramic view of the skyline. The reservoir is located right on the east side between 85th and 96th streets. Alice in Wonderland The bronze statue of Alice in Wonderland is almost 3.5 meters tall and was created in 1959 to cheer up the park's young visitors. An enchanting attraction for all those who are still a child and for all those who've never stopped being one. To find Alice, you don't have to go into a cave, just head to the east side near 74th Street. Belvedere Castle The name Belvedere means beautiful view in Italian. It was originally built in 1895, with no great intentions except to decorate the park. 
But in 1919 it was decided to give it a function, from its tower the direction and speed of the wind are measured, and in its southern part the amount of rain is measured. An observatory also works there. If you want to complete your tour, you can visit the interior of the castle, where there's a large collection of historical artifacts, skeletons, microscopes and telescopes that allow visitors to immerse themselves in the exploration of the universe. Belvedere Castle is located in the middle of the park, toward 79th Street. Sheep Meadow You know that dream everyone has about a picnic in Central Park? Sheep Meadow will probably be the place where you spread your washcloth. This green and huge meadow is open during the warmest months, from May to October. And it welcomes everyone, people having a picnic, enjoying the sun, playing sports, celebrating birthdays, reading, playing with children or just doing nothing. So, have you prepared your basket? Important information, consumption of alcoholic beverages isn't allowed. Sheep Meadow is located on the west side, between 66th and 69th streets. Carousel. This retro-style carousel has been in so many photos and so many movies that you can't even count it. It's not the original from the factory, from 1871 and was powered by real horses, and this is its fourth version. This version was found abandoned on Coney Island and placed in the middle of this green. It's the largest carousel in the United States and perhaps one of the most beautiful. It stands in the middle of the park, at 65th Street. Central Park Zoo Many people don't know that there's even a zoo in the vast expanse of Central Park. The Central Park Zoo is a great family attraction. Covering about 20,000 square feet, there are more than 130 different species of animals from all over the world in different areas that recreate the natural habitat of these animals. The zoo is located at East 64th Street. Admission is $12 for adults, $7 for children ages 3 to 12, and free for children under 3. Conservatory Garden The Conservatory Garden is the only landscaped garden in the entire park. It's an oasis of tranquility, with no runners or cyclists, full of flowers, greenery, and beauty. This garden was created in 1937 and has its flower beds designed in three styles, English, French, and Italian. It's certainly one of the most beautiful places in the entire park, especially if you visit in the spring. The Conservatory Garden is located at 5th Avenue and 105th Street. Woolman Rink When temperatures drop, one of the city's most famous ice skating rinks is set up, the Woolman Rink, a true New York winter tradition since the 1950s. Once it's set up, it becomes a must-see attraction for everyone who goes there to do their laps on the ice. But if you don't venture out on the skates, no problem, you can also stay there and sip hot chocolate while watching the skaters. It's so classic that it's been the backdrop for memorable moments in movies like Serendipity. Woolman Rink is located on the east side between 62nd and 63rd streets. The Pond This corner looks more like a painting. The pond is near 5th Avenue and, despite easy access, is generally a very quiet place. Many people walk by and hardly notice it. Take some time to sit there and watch the bridge in the background, the animals, and the incredible contrast between the skyscrapers and nature. The pond is located near the park exit, on Central Park South between 5th and 6th Avenues. Conservatory Water Conservatory water is a huge pool, actually a man-made lake, where kids and adults can play with remote-controlled boats. They can be rented directly on site from April to October and guarantee lots of fun. In the winter, the amount of water is reduced and the lake becomes an ice skating rink. The conservatory water is located on the east side between 72nd and 75th streets. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.